Here's how to grow as a pet content creator as someone who has a million followers across social platforms. Hi, my name is Shelby. I run the page Boogle of Snoot and I've been running my social media account since 2020. In this video, I'm going to explain how to start your page from scratch. Step one, a lot of people don't think about is that you need to create an email address for your pet. I use Gmail, it's the easiest. Use your username at gmail.com. This also is included in step one, but you need to pick a username for your pet. I think the easier to read, the better. I would not include any underscores or numbers, just simply all one word. Bonus points if also your dog, cat, hamster's name is not in your username, but your username more relates to what kind of content people are going to see. I know my username is Boogle the Snoot, but you can kind of infer that it's going to be about a pet. I say don't include your pet's name just in case something happens to the pet in the future and you still want to use that page. Next, create the social media account linked to that email address that you created earlier, creating a TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I know it sounds like a lot, but you're going to be cross posting your TikTok videos to all of those platforms. Why do I say TikTok? Because TikTok slogan is trends start here because trends do indeed start there. Next, when you are in TikTok, you are going to follow accounts that are not pet accounts. This is important because your account is going to be original. I say this because once a trend or trending audio hits the pet community, it's basically done. Such as a lot of trending audios end up with golden retriever puppies. And honestly, it's hard to compete with a golden retriever puppy, unless you are a golden retriever puppy. That's skedaddle, but if you like these videos, please like and follow. I'll be sharing more in the future.